Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com with a new build of Windows 10 to play with. This is a redstone build. This is build 11099, as you can see down the watermark down here. So this is the first insider build of 2016 and to, to be honest there aren't really any changes to it to, to, and this will be a relatively short video but I do like documenting these things. So, the only change from between this really and the previous release uh, last, at the end of last year is the copy and paste dialog box has been fixed. So when you copy a file like that, you now get the copy and paste dialog box, which uh, was a bug in the previous release where it didn't show this box at all. Um, so that really is the only real change you'll see. They've been working on what they call one core. Microsoft's been working on one core, which is the core of Windows 10 that's used on phones, Xbox, HoloLens, and, and uh, Windows 10 PC and tablets. So we're not going to see any major changes on this build, but I think they are preparing the way for future changes. We may see extensions in Edge and other things. And there's just a couple of uh, known issues with this one. Uh, Citrix uh, Z desktop doesn't work with this build, so um, if, you, if you rely on that then you may want to go to the slow ring and skip this build. And uh, it says applications that uh, depend on Adobe Flash may crash upon launch and this will affect some version of Skype, QQ, WeChat. This does not affect Edge or Internet Explorer. So. Um, apps with or applications that are built use flash built in might cause that to crash but i think it, uh, they will resume again if you start them up again so really that's about it all the changes we haven't uh, haven't got a lot of changes in this release but it's nice to have them documented and you can go back on our youtube channel and go back all the way through the original tech previews of windows 10 and see how windows 10 has progressed hopefully this coming year we'll have more interesting features like i said with edge and and uh, maybe some improvements to Cortana and phone integration. Uh, but for now, that's the changes on this video. You can follow me at ISDixon on Twitter and more videos on the digitallifestyle.com and our YouTube channel.